Hello, and welcome back to Super Metroid Oxide. Last time we left off, we had gone through most of Lower Easy Norfair and were on our way to Ridley. You might notice that my item counts don't quite match up to what I had before. I might have more health, or I might have a little- and I, ha I do have a little more power bombs. that's because this is actually the second take of this recording, I messed up the first one, and while I was off screen to get back to where I was, I found an extra power bomb tank that was on the path. If you'd like on my way out, I can show it to you guys. Well, if you'd like, I'm saying this like you can talk to me. I'll show it to you guys on the way out. Anyways, let's head back out of this room and back and towards Ridley. Let's kill these little stokes. Now, we may have a guest commentator for the final episode of this LP, but I'm not sure yet, so I'll let you guys know at when the time comes. I love the black palette they have for the Key Hunters. I don't know why it reminds me of the Ing from Metroid Prime 2. Probably the way the red is with the black color scheme. Up there is an item that we're just about to get. There's some speed booster blocks right here. They got a shine spark through. Alright, first try. Grab the power bombs. And head back out. That should be all we need to do in this room. Nope, door is locked. Must have missed an enemy. There we go. Now we should be able to leave. Yep. Now this looks like they're preparing for Ridley. If I remember correctly, he's in either this next room or the room after. Yep. There's the entrance. Super missile on that to get rid of it. And here he is, Ridley. Now, you can actually damage him a little bit as he's fading in with those with if you use power bombs like I did there. And now nothing has really changed about this fight except for the look of the actual room. This next should be a fairly easy fight considering how many super missiles I have compared to his health and how fast I can fire them. Also because of the well over 500 normal missiles that I have. And we got him. Like I said, no sweat at all. This episode should have us leaving Lower Easy Norfair, Upper Easy Norfair, and in fact heading back out of the area in general to go prepare for Mother Brain and Turian. Now in here was that power bomb tank I found. I found it right here. I noticed that on the way. It's got a power bomb on the floor here. And you can get it from there. Now, let's see if, if this room should, and I say should because I, I don't remember quite, I'm not quite sure, but this should open now that we've defeated Ridley. Yep. Can't remember if there's something hidden here or if it's just a path. I thought I saw a tiling here. Well, not a tiling air, but a hint. By now, it's been pretty well proven that he's anything you see that is tiling here is most likely a hint in this hack. Zebesians are bugs. It's, they bug me, they bug you, they bug everyone, they're golden bugs. Luckily, 
fact that you can actually it's a little on fact that you can kill them without the screw attack I believe it's two charged fully charged plasmas with ice and wave on oh, and there's our little reward for this area knee tank that's nice Welcome to what should be the final episode of Let's Play Super Metroid Oxide. Last time we left off, we had finished up in Lower Easy Norfair, and now we're going to be headed down into Turian. But today we've got a special guest along. Yes, he needed a guide for this part, so I decided I would help out. Oh, sh for those of you who aren't familiar, you don't need to know me. For those of you who aren't familiar, this is... Metroid MST and Shy Guy Express. He's the guy who actually got me into LP. Slightly inspirational, I guess. So now we're going to leave the Dragon item room and head on down into Turian. And just so no one's confused, I cannot actually see his screen. I just have a map up of Oxide so I can kind of follow his progress based on what he's saying. <laughs> So this what should I be interesting. I say I'm doing. <laughs> this should be a fun experiment. Oh, yeah. co comments without even seeing what you're doing. It's nothing better. You did get the um, super missiles in the like tall shaft room, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. I got those on my first pass. Okay. I also got the mink, the missiles below the Rinkas. Oh yes, the one I missed. <laughs> you know, of all the parts I got on, I had to miss Barf Crade. It's like the best thing ever, so... I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. You were the one who couldn't make time for this. <laughs> well schedules and stuff. And now we see the ghosts flying out of the statues because... Uh oh, yeah. So you are ready there. You know, I've always wondered what, how and why the space pirates connected whatever to the statues. And why there are like life force ghosts that fly out of them when the crystals yeah. explode in their eyes. You know, if terrain, which... I'm sorry, that's how I pronounce it. If that's where, you know, Mother Brain is, you don't want anybody to get to her, why bother making a path to her at all? I know, it's dense. <laughs> they're more it's obsessed with the... They're more obsessed with... No, it's because they have a chance to build another tube elevator. Why would you... <laughs> okay, never mind. Why would you waste your time building... 
More stuff. Why don't you just throw rocks in a pit and cover it up? <laughs> Seems safer to me, but I'm not a space pirate. Is plasma in this hack? I don't think I ever found it. Mm, you come across it. So, what do you... Sorry, go ahead. Right now I'm shooting all the laser Cheerios. The Rinkas? Yep. So what it do you actually hack. think of the hack so far? I think it's incredible. I've played it through before, you know that. Yeah. I mean... I guess where would you place it on sort of a playability index if... Like, for someone oh, just starting out, or something like that. Oh, playability, I'd put this extremely low. It gives you 500 missiles within the first five minutes. <laughs> That's, like, the best part. Except for Grapple Beam and Barf Crade. <laughs> Whoa, that was crazy. I just glitched through a Metroid because I was flying so fast through the air. Like, I was fl I was, I, I didn't even have a speed booster. Like, I wasn't flying with speed booster. But I was just flying really fast, like I had almost got to a speed booster run. They actually glitched Met through Metroid. Metroids are a little weird. I haven't really looked into them as enemies very much. It's especially weird when they leave their shells behind, like in final, like when you kill them in final stage. Yeah. Or an ice metal. Yeah. Yeah. They leave their shells behind when they're not frozen and destroyed by missiles. Or destroyed by power bombs. If they get their what vulnerability changed to beams or grapple beam or something like that, and you destroy them with that, they will leave the shell behind because for some reason a code doesn't run that tells the game to delete the shell. <laughs> the enemy's gone, but the shell's still there, electrocuting away. It probably means it's another enemy if you think about it. Another enemy boat or something. Eh, um, maybe. Not exactly, but maybe. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. You would think I would be a little more knowledgeable about the game, but I'm oh. really not. Found uh, Krokemeyer. Yeah, Krokemeyer's in a weird place in this hack. It's like they forgot to throw him in, so they put him in a terrain. <laughs> what do you kill him with in... What do you decide to kill him with? Normally my beam. Charge I go, beam. I go charge beam. Because it's like one and a half steps and it's more it's just, just more accurate than super missiles. Because the weird because sometimes super missiles come out of your cannon. Yeah. Them. Yeah. They're I also don't like wasting ammunition. For some reason. I don't even though you have five hundred something missiles. Yeah, I don't think you can waste five hundred and seventy five missiles. <laughs> Oh, I can find a way. Grab this. Why is there only. Why would they even give you a power up? You're already in Turian. With over 70 supermen. <laughs> That's the best part. Not only does the heck have Barf Crade and Easy Norfair. It has useless it's power. Got, <laughs> it's got items all over the place. Despite only one missile pack for the game, you still get items. It's not as much as I saw though. No, not as much as the spy. It needed less, more missile packs. I really wish that the guy who made SFI came back and made SFI 2. I would That's like fun. to see that. But I may just make something goofy like that myself. Maybe. Don't count on it. You're already working on fear and much more time. Plasma beam. <laughs> see? Now... You get Plasma Beam in Terrain, right? Guess what else is in Terrain? Terrain? Yes. Really? Terrain. Don't mock how I pronounce it. It's Terrain. You said Terrain before. <laughs> Pick a pronunciation if you're going to pronounce it weird. <laughs> it's not weird. It's Terrain. But anyway. Like a freaking... <laughs> like a tangerine. Ter what? It's a Terrain. It's no, a terrain. space pirate fruit. Terrain is like a old. Pop. It's a space pirate citrus fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Punch you. So anyway, 
you oh, get right, I plasma okay. beam. You get plasma about. beam in there. The pallet for the like oh. other three <laughs> other three tiles. Like its red is like bleeding through everything. Yeah. What I happened? think that's supposed to be like Krokemeyer's guts or something, I don't know. Him dying in acid suddenly like exploded over the entirety of the entire yeah. place. Yeah. I think his stuff would have melted in the acid. But actually I'll tell you this now, in uh that my that fan game I'm working on. Mm-hmm. Uh you're gonna you're gonna meet Krokmeyer and this time we actually sprited it out and we're gonna be coding it. You actually fight him again when he hops out of the lava. He's gonna be all half melted and like you can actually see his brain like half coming out of his eyes. <laughs> now that would be interesting. I can show you the sprite. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. I always I guess since I started hacking, I look at bosses to see what other ways would make them interesting. You know, I've wondered why don't they uh why don't they let you use the charge beam on the eye doors? It's just vulnerability, I believe. They let you do it in fusion. Yeah. Fusion but, I think was But in fusion, I the eye doors are actually X parasites. And super they are not. Which really shouldn't matter since X mimic they're <laughs> X right, perfectly. <laughs> I supposedly mimic things and make them stronger. Which yeah. would explain, even if Sims didn't have the horrible fusion suit destroying her vulnerability, yeah. if she didn't have that, that would explain it, considering the X turn everything into like giant clawy, destructive messes. Yeah. So, anyway, back to my earlier point about plasma beam. You get it in terrain after Krokemeyer. Mm -hmm. What else comes in terrain? Mother brain. Mother brain. You have plasma for literally two minutes before you get hyper beam. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of uh, mother brain, I'm in Zabatite room now. Oh, yay. There. Plasma is not in the best place in this hack. <laughs> There's no That's use plasma for Plasma is just a troll. Especially you get it right after Krakomire at the boss where it's the most funny to use it on. <laughs> yeah. You should do a video where you use Krakomire on or Croc you should use Krakomire on plasma. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Fire all the Krakomires. Krakomire being for the win. <laughs> Chicken brain. You mean mother brain? I mean, chicken brain. It's. Well, I guess they're the same. You know, they do say everything tastes like chicken. I'm not sure that brain would taste like chicken, but you never know until you try. I mean, the Ridley fight was hilariously easy in this hack because you have 70 supers. <laughs> but that's another reason why I like a goofy little hack like SFI. Because. It weakens all the bosses. It's, it's not something you ever expect to come across. You're just like, what in the world? So do goofy little things like that really makes your hack stand out. Mm -hmm. It makes it individual. Like I, people never do it, so I didn't even really know you could edit Mother Brain's power. Yeah, that hasn't changed much. I think it's more to do with there's it's a more of a hassle to do than anything. So people just don't want to do it because it's easier to do other bosses. I find it's a bit funny that you that you have so many missiles that Mother Brain can't even take them all away with the hyper beam. <laughs> That's the best part. You're like I still have 259 missiles right now <laughs> after unloading almost 100 into her tank. And speaking of Mother Brain, by now, we know scripted fights are fun the first time. They're amazing the first time, if done right. After the next few times, they're fun. After the 20th but, time, it gets a little bland. Yeah, scripted fights, 
are good for pretty much a max of around five or six times. To have a fight people really like more, you need something more random and unscripted. So we need to come up with, we need to come up with what the heck? When Mother Brain comes back to life, her palette's back to normal. Yes, that's why people don't normally edit her palette. Because it's a hassle to get her, like, chicken form palleted, too. It's a whole bunch more work. Maybe Metroid dead. Poor creature. Just wanted some brain juice. I still have 259 missiles. <laughs> I can shoot them. I can still shoot them. <laughs> I'm not sure it's worth shooting Mother Brain with us at this point. I'm going to kill Mother Brain with missiles. <laughs> I'm going to, either I'm going to shoot all of my missiles or I'm going to kill her with them. Whichever comes first. I don't care. I don't care how much you throw at me, you stupid brain. <laughs> you can't wait until you can see this in the final take. Remember when, I should, when the video's up on the channel. This is great. <laughs> it's also really hard to edit her room. Oh yeah, I remember. Even in like the first version of Project Base, it was all messed up. Yeah. It sucks that I also have no idea how much health I have because the FPS it's recording it <laughs> from for Bandcam is completely blocked. You'll probably die soon. Oh no, I'm 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 like I just the only reason I'm not dead right now. I just I actually just got my reserves kicked in. <laughs> Because I don't I think missiles are going to work. I was messing around with the missiles so much my reserves had to kick in. I did shoot all my missiles though. I promised I would. <laughs> Disintegrated into dust. Going to fun escape. Man. I don't- I wish they had actually given the Hyper Beam, like, it's exactly the same as a Rapid Fire Charged Plasma. Yeah. I, I wish they had made it more- I know it was probably, from a coding standpoint, the smartest thing to do, but... Why not have some fun with it? Why not- why not give it, like, FF damage? Hmm... Because there are goofs when they're doing beam damages anyway. Fun stuff. The lava, the lava's side hoppers. What? <laughs> yes, giant side hoppers, and those things have massive eyeballs. They're like freakishly big. Oh, yeah. that's another thing that's really weird. The desk gigas and the side hoppers in fusion. Mm. Yeah, they're weird. I'll stick with that. Mm. The thing that was probably the least recognizable out of all of them was the, uh, da -da -da Rios, the lettuce leaves. Yes. Like, I had no idea that I was supposed to be them. I couldn't even <laughs> recognize them. Oh, toxic tank. Yeah. I, I like that they actually incorporated areas of the planet into the escape. That's what really gives it quality. The escape isn't its own little sequence of rooms. It's actually like it, like it is in every other half, pretty much. Yeah, they it's actually part of where you've explored before. They that sort of did that in the original, but in the original you just escape the exact same Turian shaft from the first one, which was cool yeah. nostalgic value, but it was kind of boring. Yeah, except you jump. could rescue the animals. Just wall jump up the side. Well, yeah, you could rescue the animals, of course. Have you actually, you know, uh, somewhat related to that, Xavier made up a new made up a new race for speedrunning Super Metroid? No. It's called it's Speed Attack. Oh, just get the thing up yeah, out you, of the pit? Yeah, you have to get it out of the pit with a successful, like, pit. Oh, yes. I actually used to do that on console. No, I do. Because, because I have no life. Hey, don't say that. 
I play Metroid all the time. What do you expect? You make awesome hacks. <laughs> I've made one hack of it. <laughs> it was best hack awesome. ever. Awesome is not one. the word. <laughs> it's not the word I would use to describe. <laughs> He may not be able to talk, but I'm sure that he totally agrees that so little time is the best hack ever. Oh god. I didn't kill any <laughs> side hopper, so the door's locked. <laughs> I know it room really. Stupid troll. You stupid troll. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Speaking of person um, he does not agree that SLT is the best hack ever. <laughs> <laughs> in the Skype chat. Oh, no. It's okay. It was still fun watching him mad play this. You mad? <laughs> Don't bring it up too much. He like ran out for six months because of the hack. Traumatized. <laughs> I, f I still feel bad about that. It was fun, but I was still feel bad. <laughs> First time I brought up that trolling to you, you said that the stream was just lagging ten minutes and you thought he was totally in a different room. <laughs> Leave me alone, I'm enjoying my Sudoku. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh well I could I could leave the planet right now, but why don't I mess around at the landing site until the counter's down to the last second? Um, because then you wouldn't get to the minimal safe distance from the planet. Who cares? I'm just saying. Now, what exactly is the counter there for? Is it there until the planet explodes, which is what I always thought it was? Or until the minimal safe distance. Yeah. I think of stupid things like that too much. Hey. You should totally change the thing that says time above the timer in your escape timer timer to minimum safe distance timer. <laughs> minimum safe distance timer. Yeah. I'll get right on that. FOF might be adding the to a hard version of his crazy hard hack an escape timer running through the entire thing. <laughs> Just TAS <make. laughs> only. <laughs> Enter ship with less than one second left. Success. Yeah, but it takes time to get into the ship. But it doesn't. But so the timer would have really have gone off before she actually got completely in the ship, which means she's either not far enough away or the planet just exploded on her. But because, you know, there was time left, so right. <laughs> Video game logic. <clears throat> nice job with numbers and time there. <laughs> I wish time stopped every time I got into my The ending of Final Stand was definitely pretty crazy. I, did, I, I didn't yes. expect that. I just watched that today on your channel. Actually, <laughs> like, that is. I was waiting for my dad to go to bed. That is the best ending to any hack ever. And the planet explodes. Uh, I think I'm, what I'm going to do with that planet explosion... I think I'm actually going to run so the episode has some link to it and we can talk for a bit. Yeah, I guess. This way I can mention my bubble thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a good idea, don't worry. But with the planet exploding, since I figured I don't really want to get rid of that for my hack, I would just change the planet's graphics to a big bubble. That way, <laughs> there'll be a big bubble. The same as flies off when the planet making air bubbles explodes. <laughs> and then maybe I was thinking instead of this big explosion and white stuff everywhere, afterward you see that like... Oh bubble. god, what? You would see a bunch of little bubbles. That came out horribly wrong, MST. What? A big explosion with white stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> you might know the gutter. <laughs> and no person, I am not going to repeat that for you. <laughs> I did not come on this video to get trolled by you two. <laughs> <laughs> I should <sighs> Why did I mention bubbles? <laughs> Why didn't you mention bubbles? I tried MST. Yeah. There's not enough of them in fear, so I figured I'd make one giant one for the planet. How is there not enough bubbles in fear? There is literally a fifth of an area that has bubbles right now. A fifth of one area is the only place that has bubbles in fear. In before entire planet becomes bubbles. Uh, that's not happening. I, I'm not reworking the whole entire. <laughs> it took me four years to get to this point. I'm not spending another four rebuilding it. Just get a blanket of the bubble tile and then do some reworking. <laughs> just put bubbles everywhere. Hey, that makes sense. I'll just bubble this. Hey, there's no bubble here. Better put a bubble there. That's gonna be. That should become an actual meme. <laughs> bubble. Maybe. Ending sequence. You mean credits? Like, no, end of credits. Like, oh. Thanos. Oh. And then we jump back in. Before completing the mission, Samus shoots us in the face! Oh, they had to do something. Your rate for collecting items is 167%. 167%. Did you just do that thing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Oxide is a fun hack. Yeah, of course it is. You should check it out. It's fun. There are some issues with it, but overall, it is one of the funner hacks I've ever played. I guess see you next mission, and this is Kenta from Metroid MST signing off. Laters.